Comedian Bovi has taken to his Instagram page to share with his fans a screenshot of a message he received from a fan who was suicidal. But after watching a few of Bovi's comedy performances on the uh, popular streaming platform YouTube, changed her mind and decided not to kill herself. The comedian further reviewed the guest this type of message and urges Nigerians that people shouldn't think that suicidal individuals are bluffing and also people who threaten to take their lives also need help. Mm. Hmm. This is deep because Very I read deep. what the person, what the lady said. Mm. She said she had sniper by her bedside, bed. mm. but she saw a, a a link and she clicked on it, mm. and then it brought out a lot of um Bobby's comedy. I think it was trying to performance strobe old school something. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember yeah. what exactly, but um she said after she went through it, you know, she I think she became cheerful, Cheer mm. and then she decided to change her mind, and she said she was actually online to say goodbye yeah. to yeah. people. She wasn't there because she, she wanted, wanted to, to come and see what was. She mm. came there to actually say goodbye and she was about to take her life. And then, I can't remember who said that comedy, okay, I think it was Ali Baba when he came on mm. the show, that um, comedy is also a way of um, te um, therapy yeah. for people who are suffering from depression and that sometimes it would. And I think this is um, evidence to that, that mm. actually making people laugh and making people happy. And you know, sometimes when you joke about certain things that someone is going through, they will now say that, ah, no be my own bad yeah, past you now. Know. You get that kind of, because you are joking mm. about it. So they will now be like, no be my own bad past. You know, they start having a rethink that, okay, for this person to make a joke out of this, mm. then maybe, Someone else has gone through it. He said that story. He decided to create mm. a joke. You know, that person laughed. And I thought Sniper has been banned. So this one shocked me. Ah, she, probably <laughs> has, she probably has it in her cupboard set. But then, um, when I saw this post, I just what came to my mind was that now I think with this, prob probably the celebrities will know that they have more work, um, work, more work to do on on their table because for someone like um bovi it's mm -hmm. just a comedian we have um, musicians we mm -hmm. have other people that mm -hmm. through drama or whatever thing you do that mm -hmm. makes you popular i mean we have instagram entertainment comedian at large, entertainment yeah. at large whatever you do know that it's probably touching somebody's art somewhere you're probably saving somebody's life with everything you're doing so mm -hmm. when celebrities really come online to say that um um, they are living, they are, they are just a celebrity and people, they are just like normal human beings. Yeah, you're like normal human beings, but I mean, you're, you're already there. So people look up to you. If you already have people that are looking up to you, you need to act right and know what you're doing. Jigger. Yeah. Someone like Bovi, I'm sure, like you said, he gets this um, frequently. Messages, and yeah. Do you understand? I mean, it's not just him. So I, I'm so, if I probably listen to Davido's um, music and I'm depressed, it, I would get you, out of yeah. it. Or whiskey. Yeah, yeah, or, like, blow my... Chigge, you just feel like blow my mind. You know, you know, starting to say that. Do I really want to blow my mind? Nah, I think I should just leave and <laughs> no, let them let them, let them blow, blow my, my mind. mind. You know, you know you, right? You start fantasizing. People, I can imagine celebrities need to mind. do better. Know that people are looking up to you. Know yeah. that you can save a life. There's this video that was trending over the weekend about this actress Aya Desonya. She bought a wheelchair mm. for um mm, yeah, I a saw beggar. that too. And, and I saw um people comment, and then they were like um. Everything is for the gram. Must you record it? I'm like, in this age that we have, you don't know what you you're doing that is your inspiring people. Yeah. It's not even about your colleague. I mean, there are people out there that, that are not rich. celebrities, but yeah. they are really rich. And they can really help these people that I mean, need if, the help. If somebody, is, if somebody is a fan, if you have money and you're probably Aya Desonya's fan and you've seen that she has done this, it could motivate you and you'll be like, mm, I think I should... In fact, you do might this. even choose to reward her to do more stuff. You know. Or even start a platform to help people in need like that. Because I'm sure she must have been passing that man mm, for a while. And, and she, maybe the guy is a very cheerful person that even with his disability, whenever he sees her, he'll be like, He is actually see. from the video. You yeah, will see yeah, that. He was like, trying to like, what's going on? He wasn't sure if the yeah. chair was for him. He was explaining how they would arrange it and they're like, it's yours. But I'm also going to go with... Um, a Bible verse that says, mm. um, I don't know if this, I'm going to say it correctly, <laughs> but I, I know it says Preach, something preacher. like, <laughs> I know it, it's, it's something like, um, when the left hand gives, um, the right hand shouldn't even know about it. So yeah. I think that's where people are coming from, trying to attack her that, oh, everything is for the gram. But I don't, I, I didn't see it that way. I saw it as a very kind gesture as mm. well, especially with the soundtrack playing in playing the background. Playing on that, you know, it wasn't like, yeah. you know, like 
it was just the right move. It was very people. emotional when I saw it, yeah. and I'm like, we need more people like this in the society. Um, she's doing her own with the Witcher. You can do your own with your voice, mm -hmm. your character, mm -hmm. whatever it is you're doing. As long you as can, you have a platform. Uh, Jiga, you can make people happy. You can save a life. You can. I mean, it might not even be somebody suffering from depression. It could be somebody suffering from any other kind of um, disease or whatever it is. You and know? then I like the fact that Bovi also touched on the... Um, Parts where people tend to trivialize. I think we're even mm, talking about we're talking it last about, week. Yeah. And we're like, everybody's depressed these days. They are mm. misusing the word. The fact that somebody has threatened to take their own life and they did not do it doesn't mean they do not need help. Because that's a mental health situation for mm. you to even be suicidal in the first place. Mm. Do you understand? It's not normal for anyone to just wake up and be like, oh, I want to kill myself. What could you possibly be going through? I watched um, Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones for a while. Mm. And he said um, there was this guy that was in law school. He was part of his joke. He said there was this guy that was in law school. He met a very beautiful girl. Mm. He got married. He was like, dude, don't get married. Save your marriage for later. And then he got divorced while he was in law school. He was a black man. And oh. then he got divorced while he was in law school. Then he said the next time he went to Washington, D.C., to a store, mm. he saw the same guy right there and he was a store manager looking like a referee <laughs> that was how he put it like the guy was looking like a referee mm. and um he said that th when he's then they went out for drinks mm. and then the guy explained to him that look um i'm staying with my mama i've been staying with my mama for 10 years this is someone that was in law school that got married he said this guy divorced. had nothing but the woman took half of the nothing <laughs> do you understand yeah, right. so he had to go back to ground zero he said that but what shocked him the most that this guy never thought about taking his life for once <laughs> That he even tried to suggest to you that, don't you think you'll be better off if you kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> Bro! But at the end of the day, you just find out that some people are stronger than other people. Mm. Some people, no matter what they go through, they will never think about taking their lives. And some people are so weak that you don't even, the slightest thing... You know, somebody might just be driving and splash them water, and then the next they day they'll be like, ah, because I need get car. <laughs> ah, you know. I must keep myself. Yeah, you're, you're actually very right, because, I mean, with that situation um, of people killing themselves because of ordinary um, failing ex I don't want to use ordinary I don't want to use the word ordinary I mean people have failed exam and they think that that's the end of the world and at that point I actually realized that we undo things differently okay and so. we should all just act right and do better for everybody around us I mean you don't know your colleague that you just come to work and you talk to the person every day and, and you don't know what they're going you're probably the end. only reason why that person and is you might even alive. say something that will even make them go out of line